Hello, my name is Pete Gerlach. Um, <clears throat> I've been a family systems therapist for over 30 years, and I'm in the process of uh, trying to broadcast to anybody who's interested what I've learned in those 30 years. Uh, this is one of a whole series of vid videos on what I've learned. This particular video is on a problem that vexes some people. The problem is learning how to forgive. That's the purpose of this video. I want to offer you some perspective and some opportunities for learning how to forgive yourself, other people, or even your higher power. Let's start with the reality that uh, simply being human means you are going to experience hurt. You're going to hurt other people. You're going to hurt yourself. Um, you're, experience, you're going to experience pain. That's part of human nature. So it can be said that forgiveness starts um, with an offense. An offense is a source of pain. Uh, shame, guilt, hurt, fear, anxiety, confusion, doubt, uh, unpleasant feelings. Uh, forgiveness starts with a perceived or experienced offense. Uh, what's your favorite offense? What I think of the last time you were offended. See if it's one of these. Um, disrespect. That hurts, doesn't it? Slander. Somebody saying an untruth about you to someone else. How about physical and or psychological aggression? People forcing their needs or opinions on you. That's a form of disrespect. How about abuse? Have you been abused recently? How about someone threatening you? Is that an offense? If you don't do what I say, if you don't believe what I believe, then blah, blah, blah. Uh, how about betrayal? In recent life, has someone betrayed your trust, broken your trust? Is that an offense for you? It is for me. Another popular one, widespread, universal, is criticism. Often, when people criticize us thoughtlessly or unfairly or disrespectfully, that is offensive. Would you agree? So these are the types of offenses that hurt us, cause us pain, and that uh, merit, if we're not going to live with eternal stress and resentment, hurt and anger, these things merit forgiveness. Forgiveness is letting go of blame. See how that matches your definition. If you were to describe forgiveness to a 12-year-old child, how would you describe forgiveness? Um, try out the idea that it really means not blaming, fault-finding yourself or another person or your higher power. But what is blaming? How would you define blaming to a six-year-old? Blaming is saying, you're bad. It's your fault. You did it. You were wrong. Not me. You. Would you agree that that's blaming? So forgiveness is letting go of the need to blame somebody for an offense that you have experienced. Okay, does that make sense to you? Um, how does this compare with your idea of forgiveness? Why do some people have trouble forgiving? In my experience, a high percentage of average people experience significant early childhood trauma, abuse, abandonment, and neglect. Such people, and I am one, such people typically grow through no fault of theirs or their ancestors. Six psychological wounds. One such wound is excessive shame. I'm a terrible person. No one can love me. I'm stupid. I'm inept. I'm dumb. We shame-based people are often highly sensitive to being uh, offended by other people. So wounds are one reason we survivors of childhood trauma have trouble letting go of offenses. 
Another reason, another wound that we often have is distortion. People don't mean to offend us, but we believe they did. Well, you should have known that it would have hurt me if you stood me up for our date. Um, shame and reality distortion are two common reasons for difficulty forgiving. Uh, a second reason is ignorance. Many people are ignorant of a group of things that get in the way of genuinely letting go of blaming. Ignorance of what? Ignorance meaning lack of knowledge, not stupidity. Ignorance of psychological wounds. Ignorance of personality subselves and how normal they are. Most people don't know about them. Ignorance about awareness. Where does it come from? What gets in the way of it? How can you cultivate it? Many people don't know. And finally, another hindrance to forgiveness is ignorance of how to communicate, think and communicate effectively. Um, some of the subcells that wounded, we wounded people have that promote difficulty forgiving are a historian. We have a subself that wants to replay the offense over and over and over again. You remember when you, when he, when she, when God, what that does is rip the scab off the wound and keeps the wound fresh and painful. So we can't let it go. So historian is one normal subself that blocks forgiveness. Other normal subselves are an inner critic who judges right and wrong, good and bad, a perfectionist subself who says that wasn't good enough, you're not good enough, and etc. A shame child who says I'm no good, I'm terrible, I'm bad. Um, all those subselves, subselves like those, promote self-blame. That blocks self-forgiveness. Um, an abandoned child, someone who brings us the fear of and the pain from abandonment, being left alone and uncared for and ignored by people who we want to be cared about by. An abandoned child and a resentful child and an inner judge all can promote blaming other people who have offended us. Until we deal with those subselves, we will have trouble genuinely forgiving our offenders. So what can you do? If you have trouble genuinely forgiving people who have, in your opinion, offended you significantly, yourself, another person, your higher power, what can you do? There's a lot. The first thing you can do is assess yourself for psychological wounds and see if you are a grown, wounded child, GWC. Many people are, and they don't know it. Lesson one in my website and the related videos will show you how to assess as to whether you were wounded as a child, and if so, lesson one will also show you how to identify your subcells and find out which of them are causing your difficulty in letting go of offense. So the first powerful option you have, assess yourself for wounds, identify your sum cells, and identify the sum cells that are causing you endless resentment, hurt, anxiety, and fear. Identify them. Work with them using lesson one to free your true self and heal those other subselves. That will allow you to forgive. It really does. Another thing you can do um, is to identify specifically what, what offenses are you wanting to forgive specifically. What are they? Don't settle for, you were mean to me. That's way too vague. How about um, when you took money out of my wallet without telling me and then laughed at me for being offended? That's real specific. 
get specific about the offenses that cause you pain. List them on a piece of paper, okay? Then for each one, what you can do is, when your self is in charge, your true self, identify exactly what would it take for me to let go of um, resenting this offense and blaming whoever caused it. What would it take? What would, it, what would have to happen? One of the things that frequently can set us free is confronting a sub-self and or another person and or our higher power and simply saying, I want you to know that your behavior really offended me. The purpose for doing this, for confronting in a respectful way, is not to cause guilt, is not to shame, is not to cause embarrassment, is not to feel smug and superior. None of those are the reason. The reason is to raise your self-respect, saying, there, I stood up for myself. I let the other person know what they did, or I let myself know what I did. Confront the other person, and then let go. Okay? Easier said than done. There's an article on my website on how to confront. You do that through the learnable skill of assertion. Another thing you can do if you have trouble forgiving is learn how to grieve. Many of us survivors from childhood trauma were never taught or shown how to grieve. We often don't even know how to approach that. We often try to deny or minimize or ignore our losses. It can be a great help to learn how to grieve well. Lesson three in my website and in YouTube give you a lot of practical pointers on learning how to grieve well. And incidentally, if you're a parent, you're learning how to teach your children how to grieve well. Are you showing your children how to grieve? Do they know how to grieve? How do you know? The final thing that you can do that's very helpful in many situations, not just forgiveness, is to learn the, for, the serenity prayer by heart. Um, it's all over the place. If you don't know what the serenity prayer is, use your favorite search engine. You'll find it immediately. It is extremely useful and powerful in many situations. In effect, it says, learn to recognize things that you can't control and let go of them and learn to deal with and do what you can over things that you can control. I hope what this video has shown you is you can control or change or reduce blocks to forgiveness. Here's the point of this video. Let me recap. Life involves feeling hurt. Often we hurt ourselves we hurt other people, they hurt us, and we feel hurt by our higher power, if any. Hurts can be likened to offenses. An offense is something that causes pain. From that, forgiveness is learning to let go of blaming somebody for having offended us. Letting go of blame of ourself, another person, past or present, or our higher power. That's what forgiveness is. I propose there are three generic blocks that make it hard to forgive permanently. One is psychological wounds from early childhood trauma. They can be healed. The second is ignorance. That can be fixed through knowledge and learning. The third is lack of awareness. You can purposely increase your awareness of what's going on inside your skin and outside your skin. See the exercise. I have a video on a very simple, powerful exercise, how to increase your awareness. That's also on my website. So you can learn to forgive. That's the whole point of this video. Notice your reaction. Here are a couple of resource links to help you do that. Um, 
The first is an article in my nonprofit Break the Cycle website on forgiveness. It repeats much of what you've heard here, gives you some more examples, and gives you some resources. Here's the link. It's free. The second uh, resource is a big one. It also is in my nonprofit website. It is lessons one through four. There are seven lessons there. Study the first four of these lessons. They will help you reduce the three blocks to forgiveness. They will offer you many, many other benefits. Notice how you feel. Stop and recall. Why did you watch this video? Did you get at least some of what you were looking for? I hope so. Um, I wish you well. I welcome any comments you have on this video, on other videos, on my website. Um, I offer, I welcome suggestions and feedback in general. Thanks for watching.